What's up everyone? Welcome back to our gaming on After the Storm. We are back today, episode number 11 of the NHL 2005 Dynasty Mode series. Uh, we are on to our 11th game of the season. This time we're on the road again, heading into Calgary to take on Mika Kiversoff, Jerome Aginla, and the Calgary Flames. The last couple episodes, we've played Minnesota and we played Vancouver as well. Vancouver, a, a very good team. However, we've had uh, two third period collapses against both teams. Uh, I think we were up 2 1 in both third periods heading in, and we blew uh, the lead and ended up losing the game pretty late. So, we're hopefully going to see a change here. We want to make sure that we start keeping these leads, but again, this is probably the best goaltending team in the game. Uh, Kiprasov is, I think he's probably, yeah, right around the best goalies in the game. So we'll see how this one goes. I previewed the matchup at the end of last episode, but we'll take a look again here. Uh, obviously the goals for for Calgary a lot better than us. Uh, our power play is clicking right now and our penalty kill is just sl uh, slowly climbing up right now. But Calgary's is pretty good, but I think that's just really, you know, how the game is. Uh, Taking a look at the goalies, Abisher is going to stay in for us uh, and go up against the 99 overall Mika Kiprasov. So this is going to be an interesting one. Anyways, I won't keep you guys any longer. Let's go ahead and get into the game against Calgary at the Saddle Dome. Welcome to the Pengrove Saddle Dome in Calgary, Alberta. The Stanley Cup finalist Calgary Flames taking on the Colorado Avalanche. We'll take it to the Anthems next. We're ready to go. Daryl Sutter's got his Calgary Flames set to go tonight at home against this Colorado team. Coming off two back-to-back -back losses, two blown third-period leads. They want to correct that coming into tonight's game. Conroy wins the draw against Sackick as he comes down. Takes a big hit from Blake there. The puck finds Hayduk on the right wing as he comes in. In front, Tongi scores! Tongue first shot of the game, and the Avalanche are on the board. A great start for the Avs tonight after talking extensively about these past two games and how they sat back a little bit too much. Line changes were on for both teams. There's Forsberg coming back in. Kiprasov. Had that puck trail into him. Warner finds Simon on the wing. Simon takes a hit. Loses it. First of all, finds Korea. Forsberg. Shot on. Stopped by Kiprasov. He'll play it out to Simon. Tongi is fifth of the season already. No assists for him so far. Assisted by Hayduk and Foot as Abisher makes a save there. Forsberg. Spinning off. Back in front to Korea. He only had two whacks at it, but Kiprasov stood tall. Made that save. Not the ending to the season the Flames wanted last year, that's for sure. Flames almost a goal away from a Stanley Cup. A very close call. Martin Jelena overtime. Puck might have been over the line. Very close. Couldn't tell. Tampa ends up coming back, winning in overtime, and taking the Stanley Cup. Nikolic on the draw against Lombardi. He wins it. He'll start out. Svatos on his wing. Here's Nikolic. Checked. Knocked over. Lombardi will come back to the other way now. He's met at the blue line by Barnaby. Barron's. 
Finds there's McCammon shot glove stop by Abisher in tight off of Dean McCammon. Thirteen minutes to go in the first period. Conroy winning that draw. There's Donovan. Oh, he found his way to the net, but he couldn't get the shot off. Take a look at the Colorado Lions heading into this evening's game. No changes so far. Quenville's liked what he's seen from his club. Just wants a little bit more effort into finishing the game off. There's Donovan again. Conroy in front of Ginla. Second whack. Good stop. There's Donovan again. Four chances on that shift for the Flames. And Abisher turns them all away. Sackick winning the draw in his own zone. They'll bring it out. Tongay, the goal scorer. Finds Sackick. Over to foot. Back in front to Hayduk. Hayduk can't get the shot away. There's Blake coming in. He'll dish it over to Tongay. Tongay behind the net, bringing it out. Penalty upcoming. Colorado's going to hit the power play. Looks like Ryan Park's going to go off for hooking. I'm not happy with it. Conroy wins the draw. Start off the penalty kill. Forsberg will bring it in as they look to set up. Forsberg in front finds Korea. Solani. Extra pass there, but Kiprasov. Big stop. Lyles entering the zone. Lyles finds his way through. Lyles gets a shot off. That one's turned away by Kiprasov as well. Buzak. To Conroy. Conroy's shot. Nice stop by Abisher. Just a minute to go in the power play for the or for the Avalanche rather. Here's Conroy. Conroy knocked over by Forsberg. Forsberg finds Solani entering the zone. Solani goes through, gets knocked over by Leopold. Turns back up ice. Here's Tonga. For a second one. He's knocked over by Leopold again. And Gimli back the other way. Checked. Sakic. Back in. He gets checked as this just goes back and forth right now. And that'll do it for the power play. The Flames kill off the Ryan Park hooking call. And we return to even strength. Hey Duke. Back in. Hey Duke. Finds Tongay. Tongay looking for an outlet. Here's Sakic. He gets it. Shot stopped by Kippersoff, and the puck will be cleared by the Flames. Here's Yell. Finds a Ginla. He's hooked off. He'll call. Blake. Shot there. Stopped by Kippersoff. Back the other way comes Ferentz. To McCammon. Oh, and McCammon right there was met by Tongay, and the Avs will bring it the other way. Bump there loses the puck. Barron's back in front. There's Clark. Clark, the shot stopped by Abisher. Svatos takes a big hit. He's down. Clark again. Trying to get around Scratchins. He doesn't. He loses the puck, but Scratchins plays it down the ice to nobody. Regeer recovers it. Over to Reinprecht, who was trying to dump it in, but it was blocked and he took a hit. There's Nikolishin. Oh, he gets tied up. We enter the final minute of the first. Here's Leopold. Leopold. Simon takes a shot. Sharp angle. Hit the side of the net. Back the other way. Maybe one last chance. Here's Forsberg. And he won't get the shot away. As we head to the intermission. Tongay's early goal on the first shot of the game is the difference as the Avalanche lead 1-0 heading into the second. Back for the second period. Tongay's goal, the difference so far. As we begin this second period, Yell wins the draw to open it. Turned over early on there to Blake. Here's Hayduke. Hayduke 
Tried to fight his way to the net, but he took a big hit before he could get the shot away. And that'll be icing as foot comes back to touch. On the draw, Conroy wins it. Conroy brings it into the zone. Met there by Lyles. He won't get the hit. There's again playing it over to Donovan. Donovan another chance. At Abisher making both saves. Throws the ball. Stops up. There's Leopold in front of Gimla. Trying to get the shot away. Donovan can. Here's Conroy. There's the shot. Donovan in there to get a second whack. And Abisher standing tall again. A phenomenal start to this game for him. He's been all over. What a blocker save there on Donovan. Sackick on the draw wins it. He'll come through. Hooked off. Kipper South will just gobble that one up and freeze it for a whistle. Nicolician against Lombardi on the draw. Nicolician wins it straight forward. Got a shot off. There's Barnaby though. He does. And a great stop there by Kiprasov. Lombardi and a penalty up coming to the Flames again. Looks like another hook. So Otto's in. Finds Barnaby. Oh, he took a big hip check there as McCammond is going to go off on the touch up. Another hooking penalty. Sutter not too happy with that. And the Avalanche, whose power play has been red hot to start this season, get a chance here to extend the lead to two. There's a big hit. Hayduke will retrieve. Hayduke's got the puck. Takes a big hit from Regeer there. Regeer finds Conroy. Maybe a shorthanded chance here developing. Conroy shot, blocker save by Abisher. Tange in the corner. Warner retrieves the puck. There's Conroy again. Pass up to nowhere. Sakic took a hit, but here's Tange now. Tange. Lots of hits being thrown tonight between these two clubs. Just under a minute left on the power play. Here's a break. Here's Haydu. Hayduke, oh, what a penalty shot as Yell came back and hooked Hayduke. Yell not happy with the call. Didn't think he got enough of Hayduke for a penalty shot, but that is a clear breakaway. Now we'll see what Hayduke can do. Just him and Kippersoff. Swinging wide left. Back in. Hayduke brought it back, but he didn't get enough there as he tried to go 5-0 on Kiprasov and he shuts it down. We remain 1-0. Colorado's still on the power play. Dumped in. Abisher plays it off to Solani. Solani finds Forsberg. Forsberg took a hit at center ice. Back the other way. Korea. Korea takes a big hit. Physicality between these two teams is Huge so far tonight. Here's Yell in. Scores! Short-handed goal. Stefan Yell. We got a tie game here as the penalty shot call did not come back to haunt Stefan Yell. One one here. A little bit left on the power play for the Avalanche. Here's Hayduke. He can't get the shot away. He's bumped off the puck. Conroy back the other way. Conroy. To Reinprecht. Reinprecht in front. Conroy got the shot back. But he couldn't put that one past Abisher. Here's Tongay. In the zone, there's McCammon. His pass. He's looking for Reinprecht, but... Reinpeck was a little too close. Conroy takes a hit. Here's Reinpeck in the slot. Shot stopped 
by Abisher as that one fired by Reinprecht after the fact and finds its way into the netting. Draw win by Colorado as they come in. Korea knocked down. In Ferenc, Clark down low, bumped by Roosevelt. Back in front, Roosevelt picks that one off, and they're going to come back the other way. Here's Solani. Solani going to try to make a move. Nope, stood right up there by Goche. In the corner, Lyles retrieves, finds Solani. Solani finding Forsberg the other side. Shot stopped by Kiprasov. Back in the other way they come. McCammon in the slot stopped by Abisher. Roosevelt shot on. Look at another chance. Big stops by Kiprasov. Three minutes to go in the second. Here's Regeer down low. Conroy off the side of the net. Back in front to Donovan. And what a stop by Abisher on the cross crease chance. Here's Hayduke. Takes a hit from Leopold. Loses the puck. Donovan. Back in front. Conroy. Just as he's about to let that shot go. Abisher there to grab the puck. Just back as we enter the final minute of the second period. Final chance here. Shot off the side of that. Simon tried to get that another one there, but to no avail. As we enter the end of the second period, Stefan Yell's shorthanded goal ties this game up as we go to the third period deadlocked at one. Third period right around the corner. 1-1 the score as we enter the third period. Calgary out shooting the Avs 18-12 despite the Avs having two power play opportunities in this game. As Yell there took a big hit from foot. And here come the Avs. Sakic over to Tonga. He's got a goal already in this one and that's a big stop early on in this third period for Kippersoff. Forsberg on the draw against Conroy. Conroy wins it. He's been great on the draw so far this evening. Here's Aginla. Aginla. Conroy off the side of the net. Forsberg back the other way. Finds Korea. Korea. Forsberg. Lyles. Kassalani. Trying to get a shot. Oh, he was dumped there. In front of the net. Kosoval. Turns that puck over, but oh, he takes a big hit by Conroy. And Conroy receives one from Solani. Lyles in the corner. Plays it out. Throws it all into the neutral zone. Here comes Solani again. Stops up looking for somebody. Takes a big hit. So does Forsberg. It's one of the more physical games we've seen so far this season as Donovan there. Oh, gets a shot away, but a bit of a bobble there from Abisher. Here comes Tongay back the other way. Tongay knocked over. Oh, a big hip check on the way in from Adam Foote. 12 minutes to go in the third. We're deadlocked at one, looking for a, for a new game. And there it is. Sakic, what a shot right in and out. Got a nice passing play by, between Tongay and Hayduke. And what a laser of a wrist shot in the slot from Joe Sackick and the Avalanche have a 2-1 lead in the third. Sackick, sixth of the season, assisted by Tongay and Hayduk, the line combining for both goals for the Avs tonight. Here comes Scratchins back the other way. He'll take a bump. Hammond. In. Looks for Clark. He does. He found him. But a great stop by Abisher. Spatos. The other way. Spins off. Finds Scratchkins. 
Farnaby there, shot stopped by Kiprasov. He's going to hold it. Clark has had a few chances so far in this game. All of them turned away by Avisher. Conroy wins the draw. Perfect so far in the faceoff circle tonight. Conroy hooked off. No call. Hey, Duke. Back in, finds Tongue. Shot stop. Corralled back out, and here comes again. Again, down low. Donovan off the side of the net. Almost snuck in behind the pad of Abisher. Comes Sackett. Takes a hit. Looking for a trailer. There's Hey, Duke. Oh, and he took a big hit on the way in as well. Again, love. Takes a hip check from foot. And Regeer ended up just walking in and clapping a shot. But Abisher there to make the save. As we take a look at Mika Kiprasov's stats. Five wins, eight games, just under a 900 save percentage and a 2.4 goals against. Five minutes to go in the third. We are into crunch time now. Here comes Forsberg. He's checked. Gross of all those. Does a little spin move once he gets the puck. And it's back the other way. Uzek took a hit. There's Simon. Uzek back at the point. Slap shots. Blocked on the way through by Forsberg, and he'll bring the puck back out. Here's Korea. Korea. Back in front to Forsberg. Shot stopped by the left pad along the ice of Mika Kiprasov. Two fourteen to go. Two one. Colorado leads. Conroy wins yet another draw. There's Jelena. Marty Jelena. Big hit by Blake. Abisher corralled that one beside his net, and will take the draw. Sakic six goals already on the season, ten points. A minus one, however, wants to fix that up. A lot of power play points for the Avs to start the season. Sakic wins that draw against Conroy. And Kempersov heading to the bench. There's, there's again the shot. Oh, he tried to go five hole on Abisher and Abisher tucked the pads, and there's Forsberg. Oh, off the side of the net. There's some life here for the Flames. Shalina back the other way. Shalina in. Shalina trying to get it through. He couldn't. And there's Lyles. John Michael Lyles gets a shot off, and he'll find the net. John Michael Lyles, first of the season. Lone assist to the captain, Joe Sackick. And that should wrap it here at the Saddle Dome tonight. Colorado fixes their woes, gets back in the win column. Against a very physical Flames team. 37 seconds to go. We're not done here yet. Vaughn bringing it up, finds Forsberg. Forsberg shot on. Stopped by Kiprasov. Conroy back the other way. Final seconds of the game now. Conroy. Turn that one over. Forsberg passed it back, but it was offside, came out of the zone. Jerome again, like 10 goals already on the season, 18 points, a plus five, and of course, throwing around the body like Iggy consistently does. Sackick on the draw, won it forward. Turned over in the neutral zone. Final 10 to play now, here's Hayduke. And again, the shot away. Pass back in front to Sackick, and that's a good stop by Kiprasov. Hopefully wrap this game up. Three seconds to go, Nikolishin on the draw. Wins that one. Buzek will bring it out, but that'll do it. The Avalanche come into the Saddle Dome, take a 3-1 win on the back of an an incredibly strong game from the goaltender David Avisher. And on the other end, a disappointing loss for the Flames, but a defensive battle both ways. David Avisher stops 20 of 21. He's your third star. 
Tongue, a goal and an assist in this one for two points. As the top line of the Az was clicking. And of course the captain won't even take a lap on the ice. There he goes. Joe Sack, a goal and assist, plus three on the evening. As we'll say goodnight from Calgary. Avs win 3-1 tonight. We'll catch you on the next broadcast. So that was probably, I want to say that's probably the best game of the season so far for us. A low scoring affair. We got the goals and really Abisher played phenomenal in that one. Uh, stopping 20 of 21. Uh, of course, the yell shorthanded goal and one he let in, which was, I mean, hey, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, that's a solid game for us. Took the lead in the third period that time. Obviously kept it. Um, improved to 7-4-0 on the season and go from there, really. As you guys can see here, as you guys can see here, no hot streaks, no cold streaks. Nobody's injured, suspended, flu, anything like that. Nothing really big has happened uh, in terms of that so far this season. Uh, but it's something we're keeping an eye on. So coming off a strong game there against Calgary, we're going to go back and face... Vancouver in the next episode. I think most things will probably be the same. I'm assuming probably Kluche is back in the net uh, for Vancouver in this one. Probably the same game we got two games ago, and let's hope we can, you know, we're at home this time. That's a big one. Let's hope that we can go in and secure a victory. Again, most things are pretty similar here. They're scoring a little bit more goals, but they're also allowing a bit more against. Uh, they're just two points ahead of us in the standings. Uh, their overall drop significantly on the road, whereas ours really climbs up at home. So we should have the uh, advantage there. 40% uh, on the power play. Uh, that's dropping a little bit as we progress here just because, well, we had two power plays against Calgary, scored on either of them. Um, no penalties for us in that last game, so the penalty kill stays the same. Taking a look at the goaltending matchup, though. Kluche, of course, in the net. I think he was only like a 92 or whatever on the road. So, or when he was at home, rather, we were on the road. Uh, but is going to get that jump up in the overall boost. So, we definitely have the advantage going into this game. Hopefully, we can get a win against the Vancouver Canucks. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Episode number 11 is in the books. A 3-1 win against the Calgary Flames. If you like the video here, please consider giving a thumbs up down below. Consider subscribing as well if you want to see more of this content. And as always, guys, I will catch you on the next one.